Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of React Native. So today we are going to send the notifications from the server side. Okay, we are not going to send the notification from this one. We are going to send the notification from the server side. We are we have created a script, a PHP script, which can send the notifications to the React Native from from the backend part. Right? <coughs> one of the my subscribers asked me to do that, so I am come up with that video. Okay. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet. Please do subscribe my channel and hit like to this video if you really like the video. Okay, so let's get started. So here we can he can where we can go that. Okay, so here we can clear that log. Okay, so let me come check the any desk part. There is no notification right now. Now I'm going to send the notifications. This one, success results. This one, success one. If I go to the push notification, you can see that there is an icon over here. And you can see that there is a title and body of the message. Okay, so where we have added this one, title and body of the message, all the data, icon, sound, color we have sent to this notification tab. If you go and check this one in your React Native console, you can see that we have sent all the notifications in the background. Okay, where we have a data, sound, this one, and notification, Android, small icon, and all of this. So we are sending each and everything from the backend. So frontend can handle all of this at your own uh, part, right? But the title and the notifications are we are getting on, right? So you can send the notifications parameter into this one. So on the behalf of that, they can add the notification title. Whether the whether the notification would be the placing then order, whether no no notification for the new product addition. So such kind of notifications can be handled in the React Native part. Okay. So you can see that in the console log we have Android small icon this one body this one title this one. So you can manipulate according to this one. Okay. So how we have. Uh, how we have done this so you can see that we have the cloud messaging api legacy is disabled i have uploaded this api uh, tutorial how to enable it okay and uh, how to enable it we have this one uh, api fcm registration i have enabled then we have a cloud messaging then we have a uh, this one uh, there is a fcm api registration cloud messaging you need to enable all these apis right after enabling this, you will you will able to get this in legacy enabled and server key this one. So you need to add this API key over here, then FCM URL and token, then this notification parameter. Then we have this one. Okay. And the, uh, after this, it will going to send the push notifications to your React Native fab based tool, right? So any query, any feedback, any issue in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.